Welcome to Homegrown TV, guys, where we demand the truth, we read the Bible, and home remedies work. Today, are you feeling under the weather? I am, and I'm going to show you guys what could be causing that. Let's get started right now. Are you guys feeling under the weather? I'll tell you, I am feeling under the weather. And pardon the pun, but um, I first, before I start this program, I want to thank all you new subscribers. I'm beyond blessed. I'm thankful to have a bigger platform that we can talk about the Bible. We can talk about home remedies and things that's helped me along the way. But you guys absolutely love the Bible Bites or the Bible Tidbits. You, know, you guys can name them. <laughs> Um, but I love putting it together. So I like I like uh, pulling the stories out of the Bible and and if I can bring them to life, like you guys say I can, I'm just overwhelmed with joy and happiness and just humbled by it all. So we have a giveaway coming up tomorrow, guys, and it's going to be the first giveaway because well, for those of you guys that are new, I have to let the secret out. I I get these mystery boxes in the mail since I started my channel, these mystery boxes, I'm sure for you guys, they're not for me because after all, you guys make the channel up. Without you guys, there would be no channel. And you know, I thank Mark Fugel News because Mark Fugel TV, Mark Fugel News, uh, Adam, Dex, and Shauna, them guys are family and I love them to death. And you know, we're all part of that family and we're all gonna make the family bigger. So I thank each and every one of you personally from the bottom of my heart for coming over here and subscribing you know the more the better we need to overcome the corporate media we need to show what's really going on in our country and around the world that the media is not showing you but it's right in front of our our faces so uh on that note i had to get the thank you done and out of the way and i know i thank you guys i only post these if it's bad and if it's really bad so my question to ponder would be, is anybody affected by electromagnetic frequencies or electromagnetic pulses? And we look at our map and well, we see them everywhere, but I'm gonna show you where they're bad. So what I do is I make a two minute clip. It's always usually under two or three minutes. And I show you where the EMFs are horrible at. That way, if you're walking around shopping, if you're no matter what you're doing, if you're at the uh, at work, laying in bed, watching YouTube channels, if you guys are subscribed and have the notification bell clicked, you will be notified if your state has bad EMFs in it. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon because I only put this up when they're very dangerous and they're very high. And today is a perfect example of that happening. I have felt pretty much horrible all day and I'm sure a lot of you guys that live in this area uh, also do and I'll show you why so let's zoom in here and check this out you guys <laughs> this thing has been moved so for everyone that's a new subscriber this originally was in Jacksonville just to kind of go over it real quick it wasn't Jacksonville then it hopped over here uh, to Mississippi and now they got it blasting off of North Carolina now when it was down here it didn't really affect me um, this is like a smart meter. It makes you feel the same way. And now they got it up right in the center of the coastline. And I can tell you, you know, you think about back in the old days when I was younger, how the weather would make you feel. The weather plays a big role in how we're feeling. You know, if a low pressure system was coming in, we'd feel, you'd feel it. You know, your ears would pop, you know, your, your joints would hurt. And that still happens. You know, your elbows hurt or your knees hurt. It's because of the pressure and the dew point and everything that has to do with weather. But you guys, today we can see if we're being electrocuted. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, we got all these fancy maps. We can see what they're not showing us. And what they're not showing us is just, I mean, let me unzoom. Look at the East Coast. Or it looked boom. I mean, it like lights up like a freaking, like the 4th of July. You guys that don't know what that is, it's lighting up. Well, that's this. You know, we have them all over our great nation. And whenever they're blowing up, I notify you. I don't do it every day, only when they're bad. But look at this. They each have their own little signature. Here's KBS. He's K-R-A-B. And if you really get down to it, you can look in your own state and say, 
oh wow, there's one in the corner, there was one down here, and then you come back to this, and it's like, right here they are, folks. Like, you can see them getting turned on, on and off. They're on, now they're off. On and off. It's a magic trick, I'm telling you. Then they pop on, look at that, and then off. And then they come on. All of that garbage that you're looking at is this. And this is Noah's website. It's actually noah.gov. So they tell you where they keep these things, and they actually tell you how many watts and volts and all that stuff that's coming out of them. But just to make it simple for you, if you can see the radar and you can see the weather, you know, and we carry cell phones and all that around, and we have routers, and that don't show up, but this shows up, you got to ask yourself, how strong is it? I'd say pretty strong. And it can't be good for us. And you wonder if that's the reason the insects are dying and the birds fall out of the sky and fly into windows. Well, I don't know, but it certainly looks to appear that way. That's just not weather, and it don't look normal to me, right? So, you guys, all the way up the coastline, you know, I'm up here, and I'm telling you, I didn't I didn't notice it until it started creeping up, and it's creeping up now. And I'd say all the way to all the way over to Tennessee, you know, it's just updated. So again, these things are always live up to date. So when you see them post, you can see where it's bad. And then all the way down here into Texas. Texas, you guys, you guys are getting lit up like like there's no tomorrow. And not only that, but I noticed something really odd about Texas. And I'm going to show you that right now. So if you watch this map, this is a 24-hour loop, guys. You see this? It never goes away. And it's got circular marks you know it's got the marks of something from an emf or an emp it's got circular it's down right here it's like a half a moon well let me show you what i'm talking about so here it is you see this like half moon this is 24 hour loop i'll bring this up so you guys can see it will start from the beginning okay let's watch this this is if you just watch you might have to turn the brightness on your screen up you can see it's it's like a half there you go you, you can't make don't want me seeing that. Did you see that? Shut off. Don't want you guys to see. Ever since I talked about the Bible, you guys, I've been under attack. And I'll take it. I, uh, it's unbelievable. But you, you see, this doesn't move. So this stays underneath Louisiana. The, the border is right here. This is the Louisiana border. This is Louisiana right here. And this is Texas. And this just stays here. You know, you got to wonder, is this the next event? What is it? All the weather's moving. This is just staying stationary. It looks like a fire. The technology, the nurse, there go the Dopplers at the very end, blowing up. So you got that all day today. And then at the end, you have that. I'm going to stop it so I can actually show it to you. So all day, and that's now. So you got the Doppler radars. And like I said, if you go look at this map, right here you're going to be able to see that one there that's that one there that we just looked at that's pretty amazing so we got it underneath texas really bad and it's lit up the whole way it's kind of like a diagonal across our country so how are you guys feeling tonight are you feeling what i'm feeling because i'll tell you this stuff is crazy you know i had to i had to laugh i was making this and i typed in next rad into google you know, to show you guys this map, you know, just to, so you can kind of pinpoint them. You can see it pushes, they push the weather all over the place. They can make the weather go from south to north and north to south. It's no longer just, it comes from the west and across. It goes, they can make it go diagonal, and we see it all the time. But this is funny, I pulled this up, it says everyone on the planet has seen clouds like these in the last decade or two. Want to know the source of the frequency? Find your nearest Doppler radar facility. And, you know, I was clicking through these pictures, and it even shows where the weather guy, you know, he screws up. And he's showing <laughs> next rad current radar. They used to report on this stuff, guys. You see the circle? Right here it is. They used to show us on TV. Not no longer. We have to do that research on ourselves. But it used to be, hey, you guys out here might not be feeling well because we got next rad current radar going on. It's left to us, and I am very thankful and proud to bring this to you guys and show you. It's going on right here really bad under Texas, and also we've got 
massive stuff all across the this whole pretty much center of the country. You guys can pick what state you're in, look at it there and say, yep, that's why my head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm horrible with it. And a good thing to do for that, guys, is just get grounded. You know, um, back weeks ago, I did a grounding video. It's down all the way in the bottom here. It's called Earthing. I thought it was called Grounding. If you watched the Earthing video, um, that's that's a good video to watch. I used to, go, I used to go out and stand, you know, in my bare feet and see if it worked. You know, what happens when we connect our bodies to the earth? And what's to do with the frequencies around us? So it's pretty interesting. And for anybody new to the channel, if you didn't watch Thank You, it's just Thank You. Check that out because that was our first 300. And God bless you guys. We're at 1,200. And I don't even know how that happened because I really don't. It's you guys. You guys make up the channel. We're going to have a giveaway uh, tomorrow. I'm going to try and have the giveaway tomorrow. So you guys stay tuned for the giveaway. If you're not subscribed, please click. Click subscribe, check the bell icon, and make sure you let me a comment in the bottom. Any questions you may have, the description box below, and my email address is how you can you guys can contact me. I've had a lot of you guys sending me in some fabulous pictures, and we're going to pick a day out of the week when we get some time, and I'm going to show all the pictures you guys are sending me in of the, you know, the chemicals in the air. I got some wonderful pictures of them. To Nibiru, to name it. I've got a ton of pictures. I, I'm working on putting them together and showing the whole family. So thank you guys so much for joining Homegrown USA and turning this platform into a success and making us all one family. I hope you enjoyed the show. Have a great night. And I'll talk to you soon. Maybe tomorrow?